Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you an expansion for Seven Wonders Architects and that is Metals. And it's a quite small expansion with two new wonders to build, some new development progress tokens and medals. You will put one medal between you and both of your neighbors. Each medal gives you a task and the first player to complete the task of the medal will get the medal and score 4 points at the end of the game for each medal you've collected. So please let me show you how it's played. First off, two new wonders to build. We have Rome and we have Ur, of Ur, don't know how to pronounce it. Both with their matching card deck. The Rome one has four bottom tiles and one on the top. And two of them have this symbol. When you complete this part of the building, you can steal one card from another player and you put it in front of your wonder. If it has the cat or the horn symbol, you will activate the symbol. And then you will give the opponent that you took the card from the top card of the deck from the uh, central pile. And that player will play that card in front of him, not yet in his monument, just in front of him. And when it's that player turn, it will add two cards to his monument that turn. The card he got from you and the card he will draw from either one of his neighbor piles or the central pile. So for your opponent it might be even not that bad that a card is stolen from him or her. The other monument will give you two times the cat symbol. This means you will immediately take the cat wherever it is at the moment and you can apply the effect of the cat so you can immediately draw a card either from the central pile or from the two piles adjacent to you. And then you will put that card directly in front of you. So those are the two new wonders you can play with. Then we have four new progress tokens. This one will score you two points at the end of the game for each grey card you have collected. If you collect this cat for the remainder of the game, you are always allowed to have a look at the top card of the center draw deck when it's your turn. So that deck doesn't have any secrets for you anymore. Normally at the end of the battle you will always discard all red cards. When you have this token, you can keep all the cards that have either one or two of those horns. So in this case these two cards I could keep in front of me, so that gives you an advantage going into the next round regarding the battle with your two neighbors. And finally there's a third culture token. There were already two in the base game where you could collect either 4 points by collecting 1 or 12 points by collecting 2 of them. Should you be able to collect all 3 of them they will score you 16 points. So just one more in addition to the 2 in the base game. And then the main part of this expansion the medals. At the start of the turn you will all shuffle them face down and then you will put one medal between you and your left neighbor and one medal between you and your right neighbor. And once all medals are in place, you will flip them face up and you will see what you have to do to get the medal. And this will be a race between you and your neighbor. So in this case, the first player to collect three blue cards between you and that neighbor can take this medal and it will score four points at the end of the game. Once you've taken the medal, you'll put it face down and it scores at the end of the game. If this medal is between you and your neighbor, the two of you will compete to be the first player to have three red cards, or three grey cards, or three green cards. Or it's a race to have one green, one yellow, one blue and one red card collected. Or to collect seven cards, it doesn't matter the color. The first one to build three faces of his wonder, or two faces and having the cat. One progress token. One military victory token and again having the cat at the moment. Collect one yellow card, one red card and a blue card that has the cat symbol on it. So you don't have to own the cat itself just to have a card that has the cat symbol on it. Score two military victories in one single fight. So win the combat from both your neighbors. And this one is for the first player to score two of those progress tokens. So one medal between you and each of your neighbors. As an optional advanced rule, you can also choose to have two random medals in the middle of the table. And so it's a race to score those medals with all the players, not only with your neighbors. Should this one be in the middle and there are multiple players that score this medal at the same time, then you simply use some unused medals to give all players that collect this medal to score 4 points. So everyone can win this medal. Should there be multiple winners at the same time. 
And that's it. And that's all for this medals expansion for Seven Wonders Architects. Two new wonders to build, some new progress tokens and medals that will have you compete with your neighbors to be the first player to fulfill the condition of the medal. And so score you four points at the end of the game for each medal you collect. And like I said, you can also play with two common medals for all players to compete for. If you have any questions about this expansion or Seven Wonders Architects, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.